Hello, in this tutorial I want to introduce you to the static keyword. Okay, let's get started. Uh, make a function. For example, a normal function, not member function for now. Wait, counter. And inside here, let's make a counter. So, int number equal zero number plus plus and just simple write it out so count number and line simple enough okay and call this function right here the so counter okay now we can compile the program and run the program okay it count uh, the one now count a few other number alright okay but all of them is one that's because if you remember well this variable will be destroyed after it's uh, out of of its scope so in here it will be destroyed and next time the program comes here it will uh, declare again so define again to zero and uh, <coughs> increase to one and write out and then destroy it again and then uh, again it is uh <coughs> uh, defined increase and write out uh, that's why there is uh, uh, th that's why there is ones in it okay but with the static keyword static keyword this variable will not destroy so actually see it what it does as you can see it count up the everything with uh, declared with the static keyword will only be uh, declared once and it will stay its value so first it will declare to zero uh, increased to one and write out but it will not destroy it in here so next time the count we call the counter it will be two uh, actually here it will be 2 it not define again so ne not declare again because it is already declared and uh, it's right out the 2 it is just as simple as that that is the basically the static keyword it as a normal usage static keyword although I want to show you other things about static keywords like inside member functions and in global uh, Base. So, if we declare something in here uh, with static int uh, sum, okay, mm, this will be uh, like a global variable, okay, uh, but in just in this file, so it is uh, called a file scope. So if we made another file, a header, uh, another C++ file, it cannot be seen there. Simple enough. Now, delete this bef before before we get an error. Now I just want to talk you about uh, static data members. All right, uh, declare a static uh, data member. So static int number simple <laughs> now the we have to define this outside of the class for example after the class we can do that with the type so int and then because it is inside the thing class we use the scope resolution so something we get the number 
and make it equal to something, for example, 0. OK, write another function inside here. Void write number. OK. And it will be just simple write the number and the new line. OK, simple enough. Now, uh, write the number. So, first create a few instances of it. So, think t1 4.4 oh that's that 3.3 never mind uh, and t1 dot right oh by the way I almost forget to increase the number as we will not see anything interesting so every time the constructor run we increase the number so this uh, you have to know about state uh, static uh, data members that they are independent from the uh, instance of class so there is just one a static, a static data member and all of the instance can access to that one so that's why it will <coughs> it will not define over and over again so write number okay T2 and 4.4 and T2 dot right number right number okay uh, try to compile the program let's see how many mistakes did I make zero that's good all right it work well uh, it's work like that so work well make a few new instances so this will be the T3 and actually we don't have to change that and this will be the T4 OK compile and run and as you can see it's right out 1, 2, 3, 4 as you can see it's never mind uh, what uh, instance do I write out it, it would write out the same <laughs> although I cannot write out if there is uh, no instance so that's why uh, we can uh, make a function to a static function like that static okay and now I can access it with the thing so we get from thing so we use a scope resolution and the name of it which is right number if I uh, remember well okay and uh, yeah we just uh, copy everywhere even if there is no instance we can copy there all right all right it's right out first there is no uh, instance so it will be zero then we made an instance so it will be one two three four okay and pretty much that's it uh, that's about the stat static data members okay uh, sometimes when you need a constant in your class then the best way to create it is uh, static const number okay and we should delete this number because it's a constant we cannot uh, alter its uh, value and we have to change the definition a little bit so it will be a const int thing number okay and now we can compile the program and run it and uh, there is nothing surprising everything is zero all right and pretty much that's it if you want to declare sometimes if uh, you have to declare a constant for a class then this is the best way okay because uh, you use the static it will be just uh, mm, allocate once uh, int memory so once times four bytes so it's uh, four bytes of memory and because it's constant we cannot change it a value and then just simple the declaration 
okay that's for static variables in here it is file scope it means it cannot be seen other files but in this file it's uh, it is like a global variable so we can access it fr to a from a function or I deleted the function never mind so believe me you can access uh, uh, this to from a function you can access this from main which is actually a function you can access it from anywhere in this file so it is the file scope okay and uh, pretty much that's it thank you for watching and have a great day